either you or me will be alone pushing this truck. It means this reality. This reality. And from that moment, we'll be quiet and look at each other and we just hug in the support. Because it's reality. And sometimes you don't appreciate the things you have until you lose them. Why do they appreciate them? Appreciate your children. Your children year after year, and after that, they leave home. The work that you're so busy doing to rake money in, and the money that you're bringing in to benefit you, now those years will have your children living, and they haven't even bothered with you. What value, what, you know, what is more valuable to you are your children, your family, your husband, your wife. But you're focusing all this body, and you're constantly you know, trading with other things that are materialistic, they can be replaced, or you build it up and what if God come today and take your breath tonight, or take your life, life tomorrow or take your life next week what if he does it, and everything that you have worked so hard for who's going to reap the benefits and you have sacrificed or compromised the love that your children should have felt, or your spouses or your wife, the time the quality time that you can have so stand still today and re-look at your life. If you feel that you're confident that this is good, continue, congratulations. But if you know in your heart you need to change, please take a step back and revamp everything and realign and reprioritize your life. Because money, at the end of the day, it comes and goes. Like for me now, I'm 57, my husband turned 61. We both have our birthdays uh, in the month of May. And I have my two children at home, and I have my grand eldest grandson, the, my eldest granddaughter, I mean, the eldest daughter is there too. Fia is in Germany. So what I've tried, or started doing from the last two years, I'm reassigning all my assets. I don't want to wait until I die, and then the children are like, yes, it would take smart. I don't want them to do that. I'm telling them, you're going to take that, this is yours, this is yours, this is yours. I'm changing, I'm transferring the title. I'm doing it while I'm still alive. Because I don't need these things. As long as I have a shelf above my head, I have food on the table, I have clothes on my body, and I can still breathe, I am good. I don't need all these material things. I am good. So, I am ready to leave behind, and I'm ready to transfer what I have worked hard for to my children. So when the day comes, it's like I was never here. They continue to move on and everything is done. I don't want them to be running around, getting my death certificate, running here, changing the title. No, I don't want my children to go through that. And I'm already doing it. I don't know when I'm going to die. Maybe the next 10, 20 years, or maybe tomorrow, or maybe next year. I don't know. But only God knows. But I want to make it easier for my children. I don't want them to run around. You know, when you're a woman of faith and you know exactly the value of your life, you will be guided by the Holy Spirit. And you will look at the world with no desire in your heart. Because your heart is born by God. What the world value is not the same as what you will value. Yes. Because you are living in a different realm. You may be walking on the face of the earth, but you are operating the kingdom realm. You may be walking and living with the people, but you are conscious, your life, your thinking, yeah. Your sight, your heart, everything about you is not of this world. 